Welcome back. 722 right now. So the Fed hiking interest rates for the sixth time this year to fight inflation. But there are some ways that savvy consumers can use that hike to their advantage. Personal finance expert Dan Ricardo joining us live this morning with those tips. Dan the man, good morning. What's up, Liz? How you feeling? Um, pretty good, because when I hear the Fed hikes interest rates, I'm kind of freaking out. But you're saying that this could be a good thing. Well, for some folks, yes. Okay. So you're absolutely right. The price of money has gone up. Interest is the price of money. And like everything else, like your Dairy Queen, your Slurpees, whatever you're buying, the price of money is up also. And that's because the Fed has raised rates. Consumers are paying more on their credit cards, their mortgages, student loans, you name it. But as you said, Liz, savvy consumers might actually be able to make a few bucks off of this. Okay, so how do we take advantage? What do we do? Yeah, number one, especially here in Seattle, home prices are through the roof, but recently starting to come back to earth a little bit. So a lot of buyers, as you know, you, you and I have reported on this, have been priced out of the market because they simply couldn't afford the high prices of homes. Well, home prices are now starting to re, you know, come back to earth a little bit, and that means that there's buyers on the sidelines who may be able to get into the market finally. So that's good news for some folks. Savings rates. You know, up until now, you needed a microscope to see the interest that you're earning at your bank because they just weren't paying any, right? Well, now with higher rates, finally, banks are starting to pay us some money on our savings. So shop around. You might find that you can make a few extra dollars. And, you know, the stock market, have you noticed the stock market, Liz, is pretty bad lately, right? Yeah, it's not great. <laughs> Don't look at your 401k this month. <laughs> okay. The stock market's down about 18% since January. <laughs> That's a terrible number. But the good news there is that especially for those younger workers, keep plowing money into your 401k plan every time you get paid. You're buying in at a lower number. 10 years from now, Liz, 15 years from now, you and I won't even remember this week was bad in the stock market. So savvy investors do that all the time, and we can do it, you and I, through our 401k plan very easily. That's true. That's true. We're playing the long game. All right, so what are yeah. some other ways to keep our budget on track as everything's just getting more expensive right now? Number one, if you've got a bunch of credit cards in your Kate Spade clutch, and who doesn't, focus on the one, Liz, that has the highest interest rate first. And let's try to pay that one down as quickly as we can. Just make the minimum payments and others, but let's focus on the highest rate card first. If you've got decent credit, transfer your balance over to a new card with one of these teaser rates, like 0% or something like that, and you'll be able to pay it off even faster. Now's not the time to refinance your mortgage or add to your house with a home equity loan. You know, so skip the, you know, the new man cave or the koi pond in the backyard. You don't want to go into debt putting it on just yet. Let's wait a year or so. Okay. All right. These are good tips. Dan, Dan Ricardo, Dan, Dan, our finance man. Thank you so much and have a fabulous weekend. We appreciate you. You too, Liz. Thanks for having me. All right. Absolutely. 720.